Hello guys, welcome to the Tech Guest Stuff. So today we will see the topic of the most vulnerable thing is the disaster which is happening on this month. It's nothing but uh, almost the 150 countries has been supported with the malware is called as a ransomware wanna crypt. So today we will see how to prevent the your computer or PC any organization from infecting with the ransomware wire and ransomware malware so uh, before going to start this uh, I give the uh, brief about the WannaCry WannaCry is a uh, malware which is uh, you can see is the WannaCrypt, WannaCry, WannaCry so these are the three types of uh, malware which has been spread over the countries and, uh, and they have demanded $300 per PC in order to decrypt their data so in order to avoid these things uh, you should have to follow the below steps in order to secure your pc before infecting any ransomware once it got infected we can't do anything we have to rebuild the pc and we have to restore the backup if it is available okay so better if you guys could do the basic prevention methods it won't be infected to your pc so before going to start uh, let me show you the basic things so how to prevent the your pc from the ransomware the first thing uh, you have to you have to download a antivirus software and the signature should be an updated however whatever it might be free or anything it would be better if you are going for an enterprise or an enterprise customer you should how to use a proper antivirus tool and uh, if you have uh, purchased any version you will get the vendor support too so my suggestion is uh, go with a semantic so a semantic is the trial version is also available if you can't afford the purchase version just uh, install the semantic on an immediate basis and update the dat files okay and uh, the WannaCry is running with a service called as MSSSEC SVC 2.0. So if you found this service on your computer or any PC, immediately kill those services and install the AV and uh, do the things which are uh, very highly recommended. If this service is you can, if the service has been appeared in your PC, it means that the you have already under the eye of the wanna cry okay so the first thing here i would like to clear you install the antivirus and update the signatures this is the first thing you have to do and the second part is the windows patching the microsoft has been released at the march 14th 2017 they have resumed released the smb vulnerability patching if you are not installed any patching till now immediate we install the patching for the MS17010. This is the patching will fix the SMB vulnerabilities uh, and uh, will remove from the all the networks. So, so vulnerability should be removed from all your networks. You should have to install this thing. Okay, and this is the link you can find the according to your product. You can get the URL and you can download it. Uh, just uh, go through my description i am placing this link over this over the description so we're, from there you can click and download you and download these patches and install it so for this you require one restart of your pc after installing okay and the next thing is the firewall level blocking however if you see that particular service on your pc also no issue you have to in order to execute the things, in order to execute the WannaCry, before execution, the mission should communicate with the command centers. These are the hosts and they are the responsible persons in order to execute those commands and decrypt the commands. So before executing the run WannaCry, it will be communicated with the command centers. If you break the communication between the command centers and your PC, it won't get executed and it won't work so my suggestion is to block all these command centers urls uh, these are the, the urls which are causing the uh, malware the ran wanna cry so you have to block these urls immediate basis 
and uh, along with these urls there are the few ips also there and uh, these are the ips however i am placing these uh, entire information on my description you can take it from there okay and uh, along with these ips you have to block the few ports so these are the ports you need to block one is the 22 135 139 443 the most vulnerable port is the 443 139 and the 135 however if you're not using the below ports block them immediately if you're using these ports configure the customized port and block them and the last thing as of now what we have done is for the precaution method and this is for the scanner how much uh, your system health and how much your uh, how to check whether your mission is uh, exploit exploitable or not so here you can use the smb scanner smb scanner is a simple tool where you can download it and you can check the your mission health status the smb scanner will give you the information about the what level of um, what level of security breaches which is there in your pc so it will give you the entire information so i am sharing the screenshots here so with these screenshots you can check and you can fix those one which is so that's it guys so as of now so far we have seen one thing is the how to block how we have to how to block and wanna cry these are the four things you have to remember one is the install the av and install the signatures if it is av is all there up to date the signature should be up to date and the second thing is the windows uh, march level patching should be there and the third thing we have to block the urls ips and ports which are not using and which are using also you have to specify or customize the ports and you have to block those ports and finally you have to uh, check the health status by running the smb scanner so that's it guys i uh, hope this video is uh, very helpful to you guys and uh, if you like my video please share subscribe and comment it if you have any concerns or if any queries or any issues please comment and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day